My mentor taught me everything about the Force, even the nature of the dark side. The thing that people should remember is that things are not just positive. They're not just the good side. And most people recognize this obvious fact. Yet many people out there would prefer to say of their favorite authors, speakers, lecturers, whatever the case may be, that the positive side is all that matters. If you wish to become a complete and wise leader, you must embrace a larger view of the Force. They've done good. They haven't done that bad. And therefore, they're good people. But at no point is a good act, or series of good acts, no matter how good, no matter how great, a way of deleting previous or even present bad actions, errors they've made. People move on, yes, but while they're still carrying out the same acts, should we forgive and forget when they have not noticed that they are still doing the same thing? Or perhaps they have, but they simply do not care. So when it comes down to a self-help guru selling bullshit en masse, and you say, judge ye not, I say, I shall judge in response, because they are selling bullshit and getting rich while you are buying into the placebo and that wears off and you're back at square one. Most people with these things often end up with that same problem. If it comes down to a person spreading nonsensical beliefs of any kind, we should criticise. If it comes down to a person who is making errors, we should criticise. We should not accept on faith because a person, oh, they're an established author. Oh, they've got a PhD. Oh, they've got a background in this particular area of academia. Or whatever the case may be. We should not simply accept. We should question. And it's not about being negative. It's not about being a horrible human being. It's not about hatred or negativity. It's about knowing what's actually true. Questioning what's true trying to work it out for ourselves as much as others. Because this is how we know things to be the case. Or at least how we get closer to the truth. It's not about knocking down your right to believe. Or saying that you cannot believe stupid, stupid ideas. It's simply saying that there is a greater importance on working out, on learning what is actually true, rather than simply accepting on faith based on what you've been indoctrinated into by family or by conversion. There is a greater importance to knowing what is true, rather than what we would wish to believe is true. And that's where the sceptic draws the line.